So this is like a super weird angle. I don't, I don't like this angle. Um, but uh, it's easier to do it this way because um, I'm gonna try to do the cat tag, um, the cat book tag. I saw Dane Reads do this. Um, one of my cats will come to the sound of my voice. She's coming right now. She hears, she feels like she's being beckoned. Come on and come sit with mom. And um, the other one um, will probably stay away from my voice. <laughs> See, we're in the same boat. He's calling his cats in the video and I'm calling mine. Um, so, hey, get up. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, girl, get it. <laughs> um, so the first question is tell us about your cats um, the name, age, hobbies. Um, so this is Hannah. She turns um, 10, I believe, this month, actually. This month or last month, she turned 10. Um, she is my best friend in the world. I've had her for about nine or eight of those years. She's my baby. Um, yeah, well, you, you're just chilling. Um, her hobbies include food and more food. She likes pizza and she likes salads and broccoli. Don't ask. Um, she's basically me in cat form, like very much. She's definitely a Slytherin. Um, <laughs> she's kind of like my whole world, aren't you, Hannah? She's actually named after Hannah Montana. Um, I did not name her. I got her from an, a family that were going, they were moving and they didn't want her anymore. And she was, she really bonded with me, um, from day one. And so they asked if I wanted to keep her. So I've known her since she was a kitten, since I got her. Um, and, um, but she then became mine, right? We've been best buds ever since. She's kind of like my whole world. I kind of love this cat more than I love any other being in the entire world. Don't tell Bane. Um, <laughs> right? Right? Um, Bane is out in the hallway. <laughs> I know I'm the worst. Um, this is Bane. He's a big, fat, beautiful baby and he hates being held. His hobbies include hating being held. Um, so Bane is, I believe, about three, two or three years old. He was a stray that we took in, and Hannah is really jealous right now that I went through all the trouble to pick him up right after I was just cuddling her. Um, they have a very interesting relationship. <laughs> um, they're about, Bane's about ready to attack her. Um, Bane is probably a Hufflepuff. <laughs> he is very goofy and just fun loving he will greet you at the door when you walk in um sometimes by blocking the door with his entire body while tilts it upwards looking at you he's kind of the biggest baby ever question number two is recommend a book that features includes or mentions a cat um i can't think of any off the top of my head i know there's a lot of books that like mention dogs oh a book that has a cat body reader has a cat Body Reader by Anne Frazier. It's all the way up there. I'm not getting up. But that has a cat in it. Yes. And you know what? I like the character, the main character more because she takes care of a stray. She brings in a stray. And I like her more because, and relate to her more because she has a cat. <gasps> Ooh, there's also a cat in Play Dead. I think Play Dead. Yeah. All the Dead series, all the Elsie Sandberg series, it's not called the Dead series, all of those books have a cat in them. Question number three is what's your favorite fictional cat? This can be from literature, TV, movies, games, etc. Um, probably Salem from, um, Salem, um, from Sabrina. That's probably my favorite cat. Probably. So question number four is if your cat was the main character in a book, what sort of book would it be? Um, <laughs> Hannah would be like a murder thriller, a murder mystery thriller. Um, she'd probably be the cat killing everybody, right, Hannah? Right? She's just looking at me with like this dead stare in her. Just she looks, she's looking at me like she's gonna murder me in my sleep. Um, yeah, she would probably be like, yeah, probably be murder mystery or or a character that has like anxiety because she hates people. She's super antisocial. Um, just like me. Uh, she hates everyone except for me. 
and sometimes she'll tolerate Josh. Um, for the most part, she'll tolerate Josh. Um, Bane's book, Bane would be just be a comedy. Bane would just straight out be a comedy um, because he's so goofy. He would always be getting into stupid situations, and yeah, he would just that that book would just be hilarious. I would love to read that book with Bane as the main character. Oh my God, someone write that. Question number five is recommend a book that your cat would enjoy if they could read. Again, I think Bane, uh, Hannah would like something probably really creepy um you would probably like she would probably like either the girl in 6e she'd probably like that would you like that because that's creepy uh she would probably like red dragon hannah would like red dragon right hannah you'd like red dragon and then you think about murdering bane bane on the other hand would be something that you could laugh at it would be something humorous um something goofy probably like Captain Underpants or something stupid like that with potty humor right Hannah and Hannah would like the series of unfortunate events there you go I can do middle grade Hannah would like series of unfortunate events Bane would like Captain Underpants <laughs> it's so accurate it's hilarious question number six is which book or story would benefit from the inclusion of one or more cats any book really I mean seriously any book would benefit from cats that's kind of like asking when Dane did that, um, the video where, um, what books would be better with dragons in them. Same thing with cats. What books wouldn't be better with cats? Does Lola have a cat? Lola should have a cat. If Lola, from the girl, the boy next door, that, that book, if she doesn't have a cat, then that's blasphemy. She should have a cat. She should definitely have a cat. Um, every book. I can't think of a book that wouldn't be wonderful without a cat, like, with a cat added, added in. Maybe a zombie, like, that would probably be a bad series to add a cat, because zombie cat would not be good. Because cats are already heartless. I'm kidding. I don't think my cat's gonna do the last one. The last, um, question is, kind of question, the last thing is have your cat pick your next read. Uh... Hannah's not gonna do that. So which book should I read? Pride and Prejudice or In the Country We Love? She's nudging Pride and Prejudice. Boop, boop, boop. Pride and Prejudice. I guess I should read more of this. I probably won't. Let's be real. Oh, now she's glaring at me. She's like, bitch, I want you to read that. Um, yeah, I'll probably read some more of this. So, um, the next thing is to tag some people who love cats um, and want to do this tag. I honestly don't know which YouTubers have cats besides bigger ones that I've seen their cats, but like um, if I tag them they're never going to know uh, that I tag them because they don't know that I'm relevant um, because I'm not. If you are a cat lover, do this tag. If you have a cat, do this tag. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Hannah says do it. A player like a guitar. A doopy doopy doop. Oh, she doesn't like that. She does not like that. Look at her. She's like, please stop, Mom. Mom, please stop. Um, I'm going to put my butt in your face. Make you stop. Um, but yeah, so thanks for hanging out. Thanks for meeting my cats. Um, Hannah's been in so many videos. It's ridiculous. She goes all the way back. And same with Bane. You usually see him around anyway. Yeah. Super weird angle. This chair is really squeaky. Anyway, peace. I'm out. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>